you for being here, by the way. It's wonderful to be doing live comedy again. Like, lockdown was tricky. Uh, I had to get very thrifty during the lockdown experience. I'm from a very working class background. Uh, and I've always known that I'm working class because when I was 12, <clears throat> I quit smoking. <laughs> But in my defense, like, for the right reasons, you know, for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, like, if you are working class, the sign, a signifier of being working class, right, is you'll have the auntie, you've got the token auntie who got out. She got out the council estate and she lives in a new build. <laughs> she votes Tory now because she's got Spotify premium. She's <laughs> living the dream. And I think as well, it, it, getting very thrifty during lockdown and stuff like that because... And I think a lot of people had to because I... Well, for one, I was very proud of my home city because at the end of the last lockdown, the queue for Primark, <laughs> it was round the block. <laughs> and you've got to hand it at Primark. Primark is very clever. Primark's very intelligent because the women's clothing range in Primark is called Atmosphere. <laughs> yes, that's the name of the women's clothing range, Atmosphere. And I thought, right, to be fair to them, that is such clever marketing, that, isn't it? Because after two washes, that's exactly what those clothes become. <laughs> Disintegrate. <laughs> and I've had, like, so after lockdown, I was like, because I'm a bit of a nightmare person, I'm trying to sort myself out, but because I'm a nightmare, uh, I had to end a relationship, right? And so, so I'm gay. Um, so, and, and side note, I do think, I think some people are still a bit scared of gay people, right? I think some people are scared of gay men because they think that they can just, like, assault you with words in a sassy look. <laughs> and then people are scared of lesbians because they think that they can just assault you. <laughs> it's the end of that joke. <laughs> I, I, I am dreading it, you know, like, because I think I'm dreading dating again because I'm an awkward person. Like, I hate those kind of one-on-ones and I just, I get so awkward. Like, if I'm on a date with a lass and we're getting to a taxi together, and if I get the slightest feeling the taxi driver might be a little bit homophobic, I'll say it me date, uh, don't hold me hand, don't put your arm around us, don't touch us. I know, I know how that sounds. I know it sounds quite harsh. It sounds quite weird. It sounds quite sad, let's be honest. But I suppose, like, I, fe I felt like I needed, I feel like I need to kind of protect me Uber rating. <laughs> <laughs> I've had like time to think though, and I know I'm sort of like crazy and gay and that, but I do, I've realized that I want to have kids one day. <laughs> it wasn't a joke, I am. <laughs> I want to have kids one day, I want to be a mother one day, I want to be a mom, you know, because I've got that instinct, like, mm, to start a blog. <laughs> And, uh, and I think, but yeah, it is. It's genuinely lovely that you are out here. Like, because we are learning how to do things again. We're learning how to, like, come to shows again. We're learning how to, to date again. Like, on, going on holiday, that'll be another thing we have to learn how to do again, go on holiday. And the last time that I went on holiday, and I'm Turkish, by the way, right? Half Turkish, half Geordie. <laughs> you are right to laugh. It's a uh, <laughs> ridiculous combination. Half Turkish, half Geordie. So it's kind of like half of me wants to cosmetically enhance your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the other half wants to knock them out. <laughs> As a Turkish Geordie, it's like God has designed me genetically more than anybody else just to want a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> The lesbian thing doesn't help with that fact either. <laughs> That's disgusting. You shouldn't have laughed at that, really. I feel gross when I say that, but you laughed, so I can't take it back now. <laughs> uh, got you. Right, uh, I need to go. I've been Louise Young. You've been wonderful. Take care of yourselves. Have a great life. Thank you.